hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so tonight we're going to do a painting video. I'm um, going to take this uh, flesh hound and we're going to make him look something like this. Okay. Uh, now it's a really easy process. I use a, only a, a few pens really. Uh, get the camera in focus, you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so uh, let's start as we mean to go on and get some paint on this model. So, the first color I'm going to be using is uh, Flesh Terrors Red. Uh, so, the idea here is that these are going to be uh, darker than the uh, blood letters, which I did. Uh, not so long ago. Okay, so we are going to uh, just get this all over the main body of the beast, of the hound. We're going to avoid the hair, uh, the teeth, and the collar. Uh, and everything else is probably going to get a good coating of this flesh terror's red. Okay, trying to get it into all the little nooks and crannies everywhere that we can until the whole body is based in it. Okay. Right, so I'm going to crack on with that and uh, we'll be back when we're about to put the, uh, the second colour on. Okay, so with the Flash Terrors Red done and dry, you should have something that looks a little like this. Okay, so you can see I've left the collar, the hair, and the teeth. Everything else has been painted uh, in the Flash Terrors. Okay, so the next stage, uh, we're going to use Carabag Crimson Shade. Okay. Give that a bit of a shake. And we are basically just going to go over everything that we've just painted in the red. Sorry, it's worth noting, I didn't mention, uh, undercoated in uh, Wraithbone. Okay, so uh, no reason or rhyme to this. It's just a nice, big, thick shade covering everything. Uh, not a lot more to be said. Make sure we work it into all the little nooks and crannies. And uh, this is going to be adding the definition to the muscles and all the ribbed parts of the, uh, the hound. Okay, so I'll get on with this and uh, let it dry, and then we're back with the next edge. So once the uh, Carabag Crimson has dried, you should have something that looks a little like this, quite dark. So what we're going to do now is we're going to brighten it up. And for that, we're going to be using Wild Rider, Wild Rider Red. It's a mouthful and a half, isn't it? Uh, we're going to use that and we're going to give it all a light dry brushing. Uh, actually, I say light, but we're probably uh, probably going to get a little heavy in parts. Uh, so I'm just going to prepare the brush. Okay, so uh, just a dry brushing and show you can see that 
on the camera. You can see how it's uh, sort of picking it up in the in the raised areas. Okay. And we're going to be leaving those recesses dark. Uh, just for a comparison, you can sort of see one side's been done, one side hasn't. And you can see the, the difference. All right. Sorry, but for some reason the camera scene is really, really close tonight. <laughs> I just caught it there. Okay, so you literally, we're going to be doing the whole model like this. Uh, just to pick up the highlights in the muscles. Uh, and still, and, and hopefully these pimples as well, we're going to be getting those in so they pop a little bit more. Actually, it looks better on camera than it does <laughs> in real life. Uh, but yeah, uh, you get the point. Okay, so I'm going to carry on. I'm going to do the rest of the model and I'll be back uh, for the next stage. Okay, with the, uh, with the dry brushing done, uh, you can see it's uh, much lighter now. We've picked up on uh, all the areas that... Uh, that are raised, you can see the definition in the muscle a lot more. It's a lot clearer. Okay, so now we're going to move on. We're going to be doing the black areas, and for that we are going to be using a uh, black templar. Okay, so the black areas on this one are obviously the uh, the men or the hair. Uh, I'm going to do these uh, spikes here uh, and the toenails and. Now, you, you could do the spines if you wanted to. Uh, I've decided not to. Uh, or alternatively, you could do the inside, the uh, the membranes. Uh, again, I've decided not to. Uh, but, you know, you can you can take it a little bit further if you wanted to. Uh, and as you can see, I've also done the, the tops of the heads and the noses uh, in the in the Black Templar. So, so we'll be doing that on, uh, on this one as well. Uh, so it's just just a simple process of uh, getting it all in the nooks and crannies again. That's not as dark as it usually is. That's better. Obviously, you want to be careful around here because you don't want to be getting any on the the skin because that's uh, that's now finished. Okay, so I'm just gonna, for the sake of the camera, just get the blades done on the on the tail. Okay, so I mean that gives you an idea of what we're going to do. We're going to be, obviously do the uh, the toenails as well and everything. So uh, I'll crack on, get that done, and we'll be back with the next bit. Okay, so with the black done, uh, we're at this sort of stage here. So you can see uh, mane's done, toenails are done, uh, spike on the back's done. Uh, so now we're going to work on the gold uh, which is his collar 
and on this model I did the symbol on the uh, on the back as well which I will be doing on this one so there's only two uh, out of the five that that have this symbol uh, but I quite liked I quite liked the gold effect and I think it just breaks the color up as well so we're just gonna do the collar nice and gently Working on the way around. Okay. And then so I just swapped brushes. Going to pick up the shape. Of the symbol. Of corn. And we're going to put a. A wash over that as well. Okay. Uh, so we'll let that dry. And we'll be back to put the wash on. So now we're back with the gold dry. We're going to be using dark earth flesh. To. Uh shade at all okay so i'm going to be quite liberal here and then i'm going to take a bit off Also going to use it just to correct a few mistakes where I've gotten onto the flesh. Okay. So that just darkens it all down. Uh, corrected where I sort of hit the the head top part of the head there. Uh, and down this side here. Okay. Uh, so we're going to leave that to dry till we uh, do our last highlight on that. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to do the teeth. Now you can use the uh, Citadel version uh, of this. Uh, I don't have it, so at the moment. I've only got the speed painter version, which is pallid bone. Uh, and this is going to be for the teeth. So this is quite a, a dark colour. We're just going to be sort of flooding the teeth with this colour. To create the definition between each one.
Okay. Something along those lines. Or at least that's the sort of effect that we want. So they're not particularly clean teeth, but they they stand out. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to wait for the uh, the dark earth to dry, and then we'll come back and do the final touches. Uh, so now we're back. Uh, we're just going to use uh, silver. Uh, the one I'm using here is Vallejo silver, uh, just to give everything uh, a, a nice highlight on the on the gold area. Uh, Nothing too over the top. And that will do nicely for that part of it. And similar sort of thing again for the collar. Just a little dry brush. to really make a difference overall. Okay. Right, so that about does it. And there we go. Uh, so I can't show you how I base them because I, I, I ain't decided exactly how they're going to get based uh, but here she is in all her glory now overall it's a very simple process uh, you can knock all five of them out relatively quickly uh, they all tie in really well together I mean the box art they're, they're definitely a lot pinkier than uh, than how I've done them uh, but you know, I, I like corn to be red, uh, so therefore these are going to be red. And uh, that'll do us. So please like and subscribe. Uh, love to hear your comments in the section below. Anything I can do better, anything that would make them stand out a little more, uh, anything that will neat them up or, or make a bit of a difference. Uh, you can see on the on the test model, I actually went ahead and did some some highlights to the to the black area in in the grey, uh, on the toes as well, and I think I did a little bit on the face. Where I have noticed actually, I have done the black head on this one, uh, but yeah. So I did a uh, a few more highlights, which you you know you you can do if you really wanted to. I've, I need to I need to master that technique. I still not got it right. I, I prefer this foot. This foot's not too bad, but the the actual spines on the back mm, not so much. Uh, but anyway, you know there you know you can take it further if you wanted to. Depends on your skill level. Uh, I'm very uh, basic sort of skill. Still learning a lot of tricks. Uh, my friend Kev he uh, he shows me well he tells me lots of different things on. On how to do. Uh, in fact, I got the the silver technique from Kev. Uh, we're waking up to doing a blood tester. Ultimately, that's what it's going to be. That's the goal. Uh, I've always wanted to do one for many many years, and uh, we're waking up to it. I've already bought the model, uh, and it's sat there on the shelf, still wrapped up in its cellophane. Uh, but yeah, we'll get there. Uh, just show you something else. There's a bit of a work in progress. I did the unboxing on the uh, Chaos Spawn the other day. Uh, well, this is my uh, Corn Spawn. Uh, I've been doing it off camera while whilst the other one's been drying. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, obviously, I won't be doing a video on that one because I've been doing it whilst doing this video. Uh, but you can see the progress. The arm is growing. Uh, and uh, if you like to see more, then please like and subscribe. Uh, and hopefully I should catch you in the next one.